have three kids, and we have Harley, who's five. We hope that she'll always be staying small and wonderful and sweet. <laughs> Griffin, who's eight. He loves to be uh, outdoors and play sports. Yes. I have Jack, who's 13. Who loves to be the boss and in charge of everyone. Jack, who's going to be going to college in about five years. I can hardly believe it. We're just getting by right now and barely, at, you know, that. So we can't imagine where we're going to take the money from to save for college. I'm really excited to meet Stacy and Danny. The thing that I really want to help them understand is where the money is going. What's coming in, what's going out. I base a lot of my financial planning on cash flow. The truth is, is that we don't really track our expenses and know what our budget is as we should. So the first step is really getting their finances organized, having them understand how their bank accounts flow, and having them understand where their money is going in terms of their expenses. The thing that is toughest is to know how much you're spending on all the discretionary stuff. Go back the last three months and just see where the money went, and then see what those categories are where you're like, ooh, that was kind of money I don't even remember spending. When we did Pam's questionnaire and broke out all of our expenses, one of the places that I noticed that our costs were higher than I expected was in our car insurance. And I found that, that just by switching over, we'd be able to save a lot of money right there alone. So we had a follow-up question that we wanted to ask you about. Um, we're really interested in the 529 plan, and we wanted to know a little bit more about it, how we go about doing it. Like, so if we set up the 529, uh, how like how do you choose like what kind of investments it goes into? And so they actually have in 529 plans something that's awesome is what's called age-based portfolios. So you just say, hey, Jack is 13, and then every year you just move it to his new age and it automatically adjusts the portfolio to the right risk level. The thing is you have essentially five to nine years, right? Because Jack's gonna be in college for four years. So some of the money will probably be invested less aggressively so that you can start paying for freshman year expenses and then you can invest some of the money more aggressively to pay for senior year expenses. For now, if you have a kid that's going to college in the near future, a 529 plan might be a great option. All of the growth in the 529 plan is tax-free as long as you use it for education expenses. So if you put $10,000 in, it grows to $15,000, that entire $15,000 can go to education. That's so important for us to start saving for college. And then the next thing is figuring out how much they can save every single month just for long-term savings, just to get into the habit of saving. I may also recommend that they stop using their credit cards for a little bit and just use a debit card to feel what it feels like to spend the cash that they have and showing them just a couple little things that tweak how they see their finances. The look of relief on their faces is so rewarding. It's a positive and we feel really good about it. Even if it might be late, it's better to start now. Better versus, late than never. Yeah.